You're going to wait on it to walk on it. You're going to wait on it to walk in it. So things are going to shift this season. Things are going to turn around quickly for you and your life. Amen. Jesus. <clears throat> Come on, let's continue to up the atmosphere. Let's continue to increase the atmosphere for a little bit more. And in a few minutes, I'm going to begin to share what the Lord has placed on my heart. By the way, this is a prophetic broadcast, which means when you come into this room, when you get connected to this broadcast live, you're stepping into a prophetic portal. You're stepping into a portal with me, myself, and there's going to be a release in the spirit of God. Amen. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. I'm telling you, friends, these are the days of acceleration. These are the days of greater glory of great increase and great movement. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. So how am I going to break the 200 mark today? I believe we're going to break that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So Koda ba ba ba. Let's pray a little bit more. Come on, share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Give us some hearts and likes. In two minutes, I'm going to begin to share what the Lord has placed on my heart today. Hallelujah. If you receive today, say amen. If you tap into the glory of God, say amen. Are you ready to receive? Good to see you, Phoebe. New Mexico strong today. April, good to see you. Shaba babarota. Rabba baba sata. Katie, good to see you. Child of Most High. Latanya, prophetic voice. Hello, Ebony from Michigan. Jesus. Rombo satana blanda de doshata. Shara la batata. Ramandes carablata tora brosa. That's right. The numbers are jumping up. We are breaking the algorithms today. Amen. Glory be to God. Well, friends, continue to share. Let me know where you were watching from. Wow. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I surely did. I enjoyed a lot with different friends and family and fellowship and uh, ate great food. And we had a great Sunday service yesterday at Open Heaven's World. But I want you to lift up your hands. Jesus, I feel such a stirring. I feel such a stirring. And I want you to lift up your hands because the Spirit of God is releasing fresh fire over you. The Holy Ghost is releasing the power of God over your life. This week, there's going to be great miracles. Let me tell you, as we finish the month of November and we step into the week and the month of December. Get ready for December miracles. Get ready for December miracles. For December will be a month to remember. And a month of December will be a time and season for you to increase like never before. If you receive it and believe it, say amen. You're going to end December and end 2022 with a kingdom governmental mantle for 12 in the Hebrew. Stands for kingdom and government. So you're going to end with a kingdom governmental mantle, which means God's repositioning you. You're going to step up into a new position, into a new operation, a function, a new grace, a new mantle in the kingdom in this coming month. In the name of Jesus. If you believe it, say amen. To see Heidi, Lashira, God bless. But today I want to talk to you. Because I believe many of you, you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. I want you to repeat this. I will wait on it to walk in it. Your waiting is going to turn into walking. Some of you, you feel stuck. You feel stagnant. You're crying out to God, God, I'm waiting on you. I've been waiting for so long. Jesus, I've been waiting. I'm growing tired in the waiting. The Bible says, do not grow tired. Do not grow weary in doing what's good. For at the proper time, you shall reap a great harvest. Let me tell you, friends, you're going to go from sowing to reaping. You're going to go from waiting to walking in it. Listen, if you hear me clearly, I want you to give me some hearts and likes. Amen. Because I'm preaching. Halablata, and I need you to connect to the sound of my voice. I need you to connect with the anointing that is in the room and the broadcast. And pray for me that I will fully release this. Because I do feel tired physically. Amen. But I believe the Spirit of God is saying you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. 
It's going to come by suddenly. It's going to shift suddenly and quickly. Amen. At the blink of an eye, you're going to go from sowing to reaping. Many of you have gone tired. You've gone weary. Lord, stop looking to the left and the right. Stop comparing yourself to others. Come on, somebody's guilty here. Somebody here has been comparing herself. Jesus says, stop comparing yourself. You are in a special relationship with me. You are in a special relationship with me, says the Lord. So many of us, we can get distracted by looking to the left and to the right, comparing ourselves to one another. But stop. You are in your own lane. You are in your own journey. You are in your own path with Jesus. The grace and the calling that's on your life is different from the grace and the calling from others. Amen. I remember years ago, hallelujah, I used to look at some of my peers and I would say, God, these other young men that are anointed and in the ministry, they're married, but what about me? I'm not married. They're married, but what about me? And the Lord said, son, first of all, you don't need to be married, even though you will later. But that's their calling. That's their story. That's for them. This is for you. This is for, for them. Amen. I'm telling you, stop comparing. Stop looking to the left and right. You are exactly where you need to be. I'm talking to you today. You are exactly where you need to be. You may not be happy. It may not be everything that you wanted. You may not have everything that you wanted or you believe for. But more is coming. And you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. I'm telling you, friends, things are going to swift, shift, change overnight. Things are going to shift quickly and swiftly in the name of Jesus. Come on, as you're logging in, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give us some hearts and likes as you're jumping on the broadcast today. Amen. Because I feel a stirring. I feel a prophetic release. I feel an unction of the Spirit being released today. Hallelujah. I believe this is a season where God is saying, do not grow weary. Have you gone tired? Have you become weary? Do you want to give up? Usually in this end of the year season, a lot of people feel so tired. They feel exhausted. They feel worn out. You've been fighting. You've been going hard in the paint. Are you burnt out? I want to tell you, some of you are burnt out. You are feeling spiritually burnt out, financially, mentally, emotionally. It's been a big year, I know. Ever since COVID, ever since 2020, the whole world has changed. The world becomes so different. But let me tell you, flash news. It's not going back to normal. There is no normal. There is no more normal. Do you know what normal is? Going from glory to glory. Shakaraba. Everything's changing so quickly. So many of you, you feel tired. You feel weary. You want to give up. But God is saying, you are going to go from burning out to burning bright. There's a fresh fire, a fresh oil. There is a fresh glory that is coming upon you now in the name of Jesus. I release fire of the Holy Ghost. Some of you are empty. I remember years ago, I was pastoring, I was maybe 25 or 6. And I remember I was reading this book, maybe 24 or 5. And I was reading this book called Leading on Empty by the pastor author Wayne Cordero. Uh, and I read this book called Leading on Empty. And this book talked about how so many pastors and leaders, and even people, leaders in general, they lead on an empty tank. Is your gas tank full or is it empty? Oh, hallelujah. But God wants to fill you up. God wants to fill up your cup till you overflow. Hallelujah. There it is. Rababa, there's the joy of the Lord right now. I release fire over you. You will no longer be empty. You will no longer be dry. Some of you are at your wit's end. Some of you are at the bottom of your bank account. You've used your last bit of change and cents and dollars in your savings. But the Spirit of God is going to fill you up supernaturally. Remember the story of the widow. The widow collected all the vases, all the vessels from her neighbors. And what happened? The prophet began to caused the oil to manifest. The Lord did. And the oil began to manifest and multiply. Amen. So she went from bankrupt and in debt to overflow. But it depended, hear me now, it depended on how many vessels she collected. God is saying collect. Get ready to collect. Come on somebody, I feel the Lord. Get ready to collect. Get ready to gather. 
The enemy scattered. But get ready to gather. God is going to gather. God is going to harvest. God is going to bring in. There's going to be a bringing in and in gathering. There's going to be a collecting, a harvesting of the glory of God, of miracle signs, wonders, finances, resources. And the Spirit of God says, many of you feel like you're on empty. But the widow, the widow of the prophet, not just any widow, but her husband, her late great husband, was a prophet of God, a man of God. But the widow of the prophet was on empty. Hallelujah. And she collected vases. And the word of the Lord came to be true. Amen. If you receive today, say, I receive. Say, amen. And guess what? As many vases, vessels, she collected. It was filled. And it was overflowing. And it broke the debt. Come on, I declare financial debt cancellations over your life. And guess what? Even... There was so much substance left that they were able to live off of it. Who's ready for the much more? He's a God of the much more. He's a God of the so much more. He's a God of abundance. He's an abundant God. Hallelujah. He is an abundant Father. Amen. And so I believe many of you in this season, God is going to wipe away your debts. God is going to wash away your sins. God is giving you a fresh start, a reset, a restart. If you receive it now, say amen. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Continue to give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Help us to break the 300 mark today. Amen. For the glory of God is here. Help us to break the 300 mark today. Amen. So I believe God is going to release debt cancellations, miracles in your life in this season. Even by the end of this year. Do you know why? Because that is the miracle of the oil of Hanukkah. I want to say the oil of Hanukkah. Good to see you, Rachel. It is the miracle of the oil of Hanukkah. One day's worth of oil. Glory. And multiplied into eight days worth. One day's worth. Multiplied into eight days worth. Are you ready for supernatural multiplication? Are you ready for that one day's worth to multiply? And guess what? They only had enough oil to burn for one day, but it spilled over, multiplied supernaturally into eight days. And as the lampstand burned for eight days, they had victory over their enemies. So who's ready for new vision and new sight? If you're ready to receive Hanukkah miracles in the month of December, say amen. It's the miracle of the oil. Where the oil is, yokes are destroyed. Where the oil is, the glory of God is manifested. Some would say oil. And I declare a fresh infilling, a fresh renewing, renewal from the top of your head to the soles of your feet that you will begin to overflow. You will begin to tip, tip over. I declare a tipping point in your life. Every area of lack, of dryness, of emptiness. Rukata is being overflown, is being filled, is being tipping right now. Tip, tip, tip with the glory of God in Jesus' name. If you receive it, say amen. Come on, hallelujah. But even in this season, says God, many of you are going to transform overnight. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Waiting on it to walking in it. Listen, I need you to hear this. Because many become offended in the waiting. Many grow tired in the waiting. My goodness. In the waiting, you became tired. You doubted God. You let lies creep in. You let the spirit of doubt and unbelief creep in. So during the waiting, you got offended. In the wilderness, you got offended. So therefore, you said, all right, I'm done. I don't believe in you, Lord. So what happened? You forfeited the grace of God. Many of you are on the brink of your greatest breakthrough, but you forfeited the grace of God. You let it go. You said, I'm done, Lord. So you gave it up. You forfeited. You threw in the towel. When you were about to strike gold, you were just about to hit a gold mine. Am I talking to you yet? So many of you are on the brink of your greatest breakthrough, but you need to keep pressing in, pressing through, passing every test. Shoot. Those who wait upon the Lord, they will be mounted up on wings like eagles. And they will rise up. You will run and not grow faint. You will walk and not grow weary. So you need to continue to wait on God. Stop trying to rush Him. 
Many of us, we try to outrun God. We go ahead of the Lord. Or we are behind God. We're walking slower. Then he, we, you need to walk in step. Keep in step with the Spirit. Rank by rank. Shoulder to shoulder. Hallelujah. Keep in step with the Lord. But sometimes in the waiting, we get impatient. And we say, Father, give me my inheritance. So what happens? We become the prodigal son. We say, God, give me my inheritance. So we become the prodigal son. It's premature. Don't ask for premature blessings. Do not covet premature promotion. In fact, premature promotion is dangerous. So many people fall and burn and crash and die because of premature promotion. Do not be quick to ordain. Do not be quick to promote. Do not be quick. Hallelujah. Do not look for the fast blessings. Jesus, I feel the Lord right now. But you need to stay in the place of waiting. Because the place of waiting is the place of maturity. It is the place of worship. It is the place where you die to self and you become a new creation. If you hear me today, say amen. I believe right now, friends, God is saying, worship in the waiting. Because when you're being pressed and crushed, that's where the oil comes. I declare a new oil. My goodness. Have you been waiting? Have you been pressed? Crushed? You feel like God has forsaken you. God has forgotten about you. God, where are you? Oof. Eloi, Eloi, la sabachthani. God, have you forsaken me? Father, have you forsaken me? Eloi, Eloi, la sabachthani. So many of you, you feel offended. You feel tired. Rabba sotamate. But the Bible says, the Lord will never forsake you. The Lord will never leave you. Amen. Jesus. So in the midst of the waiting, you got offended. Turning your bowl of soup. Uh, turning your inheritance for a bowl of soup. Your birthright for a bowl of soup. Jesus. But God is saying, keep fighting. Keep holding on. Keep believing. Amen. Because things are turning. The tide is turning. Things are turning to a corner. You're about to step into a new realm and a new glory. Hallelujah. Rababa. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. You're going to go from the pit to the palace. You're going to go from the cross to ascend it. They thought they could kill you and bury you. But you're going to go from the grave and suddenly be resurrected. I declare every tombstone be rolled away. Every tombstone be rolled away. They tried to block you, tried to stop you, tried to uh, snuff you down, tried to, you know, push you down, tried to bully you. But every tombstone is going to be rolled away. Hallelujah. This is a season where God is saying, you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. You're going to walk in it, friends. Amen. It's going to change overnight. And I believe this month of December, there is going to be an unusual realm opened up for you and I. An unusual realm where things are going to shift suddenly for you. I declare right now, your vision is changing. Your mindset's changing. The weather is changing. Your faith is changing. Your circle of friends is changing. Your financial levels are changing. Everything in your life is beginning to change. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Come on, if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Pray in the Holy Ghost and give us some hearts and lights. Hallelujah. Rababo Satanablata. Help me to break the three under mark today, friends. Rabba Sotanamande Rido Shata. Rakatabasa. You're going to go from waiting on it to 2023. You're going to walk in it. I need you to receive this. 2023, three in Hebrew means dominion three in hebrew stands for the foot it means gemel and gemel the alphabet letter in the hebrew is shaped like a foot this is a year and a season for you to take dominion and for you to walk upon the lands and territories of god new places spaces 
graces and faces this year. Amen. You're going to walk in it. You're going to own. You're going to possess. You're going to step up to the plate. Hey, better, 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 better. Hey, better, better, better. You're going to step up, people of God. You're going to step up, friends of God. Rebesete. This year, this is going to be the season for you to pick up your mat and walk. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Remember the story of the man who was paralyzed at the gate called beautiful. At the gate called beautiful. His whole life, he was probably placed there at the gate called beautiful. For his whole life, Jesus. And for his whole life, he was paralyzed, crippled. Thanks for helping us to break the 300 mark today. God bless you. For his whole life, he was in front of the gate called beautiful. I need you to hear this. And he was crippled and paralyzed. And he would lift up the box, the jar. Can I get some change? Can I get some gold, some silver? Can I get some coins? Please, can you spare me some alms for the poor? But one day, Apostle John and James, Shaka, excuse me, Apostle Peter and John, I believe, they step over to the beautiful gate. Hallelujah. They step over to the beautiful gate. And he said, silver and gold, I do not have. But in the name of Jesus, walk. Come on. In the name of Jesus, walk. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. You're waiting. It's another day. It's another normal mundane day. Oh, I'm just getting change. It's just another day as a blind, crippled person. It's just another day. It's just another day. I'm just he's here at the gate called beautiful. I've been crippled, paralyzed my whole life. I've been ignored. I've been ostracized as a black sheep of the family. I've been here as, you know, uh, as the unwanted, as the least of these in an unclean spirit. And here I am waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, what a life to have. What a life to live. Waiting, waiting, waiting. And all of a sudden, the apostles come to the gate called Beautiful. They said, silver and gold I do not have. But in Jesus' name, walk. I want you to hear this. Yes, the paralyzed, the crippled man, the beggar, would has been there his whole life. Because that was the place to be. Why? Because the gate, you would stop people before they went in. So it's the perfect place to beg for money or to ask for alms, charitable donations. Perfect place. Harababa Rosa. But you see, it went from waiting and waiting and waiting to suddenly walking in it. Don't miss your moment. Don't miss your opportunity. Don't become tired. I'm telling you, God's going to show up. The Lord is going to give you the miracle that you've wanted the glory miracle that you've been needing silver and gold i don't have but let me give you something more that's valuable you actually want this let me give you what your life has been craving what you've been crying out and desperate for in jesus yeshua's name get up and walk someone say i'm walking someone say i'm walking it's time for you to walk, people of God. It's time for you to walk in the spirit. You are going to walk. You're going to move forward. You're going to move forward in the destiny and the calling of God. You're going to walk like never before. It's time for you to walk. You're going to go from waiting to walking in it. Suddenly. Amen. Someone say, I'm walking in my destiny. Rabababasete. So I'm walking in my destiny. And the best part about it is this gate is called beautiful. This gate is called beautiful. Amen. Come on, someone say preach, Dr. Ben. Hallelujah. This gate is called beautiful. Now there's a verse in Ecclesiastes that says, In his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time. He makes all things beautiful in his time. Do you know what that means? That means eventually the difficult thing in your life is going to become beautiful. Eventually. I know some of you are rolling out. Eventually. Come on, Dr. Ben. 
eventually your pain will turn into purpose. Your pain will turn into promise. Eventually, the suffering and the struggle will become something beautiful. It's not in vain. Don't let that be in vain. And by the way, that area of struggle and pain, it becomes your weapon and your testimony against the devil. It becomes your testimony and your weapon against the hordes of hell. Hallelujah. We have overcome the enemy by the word, blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony. So it becomes your weapon and it becomes your testimony against the devil. So much to say hallelujah. Come on, Shabbat In his time, he makes all things beautiful. So I want to prophesy to you. The Lord is making all things new. He's making all things beautiful in his time. Some of you, you're in a hard place. You've been crippled for many years, stuck on the ground, begging, asking for charitable donations, deeds. When is my life gonna change? All I know is the floor. All I know is the dust of the earth. All I know is being stuck. And suddenly you go from waiting on it to walking in it. Someone say, I'm walking in my destiny. Someone say, I'm walking and all that Jesus has for me. Amen. I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give some hearts and likes right now. My God, I feel the glory of God. I see angels being released to you. In fact, angels are picking you up right now. The Bible says in Psalm 91 that angels will not allow your feet to dash a stone. In their hands, they shall bear you up. The angels are lifting you up in their hands. So they're actually carrying you around. They're moving you around. The angels of God. Hallelujah. Someone say, I'm moving. You're moving to a new realm. You're moving to a new level. You're moving into the things of God. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Rabbi, you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Hallelujah. Shh. Waiting on it to walking in it. Look at the story of Daniel. My goodness. Daniel interprets the dream and the vision of Pharaoh. Uh, excuse me, of Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon. Daniel and suddenly they get promoted. Suddenly everything changes. Look at the story of Esther. Suddenly everything changes. Shh. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. But do not grow weary in the waiting. Do not grow tired in the waiting. Do not become offended. You see, many people become offended in the waiting. Their hearts become callous. Their hearts become stone cold. Many become offended. They lose faith in God. They give up. They open doors to the enemy, to criticism, to cynicism. When you need to be worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth, you need to yield yourself to God. You need to surrender yourself to Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha. And as you do so, your waiting turns into worship. And your worship leads you to walk in it. Come on, friends. Right now, the Lord can do it. Right now. Can a nation be born again in a day? Yes, it can. Can you be born again in a day? Right now. You're going to go from waiting in it to walking in it. Your waiting is not in vain. Hear me now. Some of you, you're waiting for your rhythm. You're waiting for that one, for your Adam, for your Eve. You're waiting. It's not in vain, friends. All right? Don't give it up for, for a Poaz or a Lamaz. That Boaz is coming. That Ruth is coming. Amen. Don't give it up for temporary blessings. It's coming. The right one is coming. So protect yourself. Guard yourself. Keep yourself to that standard, to that level. Because you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Walking in the promised land of God. Walking in the glory of God. 
the land of milk and honey. Promises fulfilled. Blessings, abundance, prosperity all around you. Hallelujah. Come on, I said hallelujah. Suddenly, you will step into that land of promise. Suddenly. But it takes faith and courage. It takes endurance. It takes dying to self. Hallelujah. For you to withstand the trial of trust and the stretching of faith. It takes endurance. It's not easy. But remember, the Bible says, he who endures to the end will win. He who endures to the end will win. The one who endures to the end will have victory. The race is not given to the swift nor to the strong, but to the one who endures. It's about endurance. It's about perseverance. It's about staying the course and staying in the road for the long run. Hallelujah. Rababa, all your enemies are being defeated. I want to talk to you. All of your enemies are being defeated right now. They are falling now in Jesus' name. It's falling down. It's coming down. All of your enemy opposing resisting spirits are being broken down now in Jesus' name. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Hallelujah. Zabata. Zabata. Are you ready to walk in the glory of God? Are you ready to walk in the favor of God? Premature blessing is not a blessing at all. In fact, let me let me give you this word here. If you're enjoying this today, say amen. Proverbs 13, 11. Wealth quickly gained is quickly wasted. Easy come, easy go. But if you gradually gain wealth, you will watch it grow. That's the passion translation. ESV. Wealth gained hastily will dwindle. So if you gain something quickly, it is going to quickly disappear. It needs to cost you something. Oh, I'm preaching now. It needs to cost you something. If you get it too quickly, you might crash it. Yeah, you want a Corvette. Yeah, you want a Lamborghini. But if you get it too quickly, you might crash it. That's why you need to train yourself. Stewardship. First drive an Oldsmobile. Then drive a Hyundai Sonata. Maybe a Honda Civic. Then you go up to a German car. Maybe a BMW or a Benz. And then you jump up. Come on, somebody. And then you jump up over to a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. Amen. Get to see Apostle Cruz. You see, there's levels to this. But if you jump up from riding the bus to suddenly driving a Lamborghini overnight, quickly, then it can lead into destruction. It can lead into a dwindling. And the Passion Translation says it's quickly wasted. That's why many people win the lottery. Two, three years down the line, they go back into bankruptcy and it's worse. Amen. So I want to talk to you, friends, because many of you, you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. And why is the waiting necessary? Because you must pay a price for it. If you don't, then it's cheap. If you don't, it's not worth it. Who wants a challenge? Who needs a challenge? My goodness. If you get it too quickly, let me tell you, friends, it's not God. If you get it too quickly, it may be from the enemy. Because remember, the devil knows how to get you what you like and want as well. The devil knows how to send you counterfeits. Amen. So in this season, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, pay the price. Do what's right. Do your time. Serve hard, die to self, submit yourself. And as you are in the process of waiting, then you will be worthy to walk in it. Have you paid the price to walk in those shoes? Oh, I'm preaching again. Have you paid the price to walk in those shoes? 
Are you walking in someone else's shoes? Or did you pay the price to buy those pairs of shoes? Do your hard work, your sweat, your labor, is that your shoes? Did you pay the price? Is that what the Lord has given you through your blood, sweat, and tears? Are right, you hearing me today, people of God? In this season, God is saying, when you walk in it, you when you wait on it, you will walk in it. And it will be ever more sweet because justice is sweet. It's called just desserts for a reason. Justice is sweet, friends. My goodness. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jabarabrosata. Justice is sweet. Zavatan Amrata. Come on, if you feel the presence of the Lord, I want you to say amen. Because this is a season, friends, where God is saying, you will walk in those shoes. You will walk in your inheritance. Rightly and properly. Because you waited upon the Lord. You didn't rush into it. You didn't do it in your own strength. You didn't do it in your own way, your own flesh, your own ways. But you waited on the Lord. So therefore, the outcome will be inevitably just and sweet. So say hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Satan, my goodness. I feel the presence of the Lord. I feel the Holy Spirit. Do not covet another's platform. Do not covet another's mantle. There's a mantle fit for you. There's a grace perfect for you. There is a place and a space that is perfect for you. That God has hand-picked that God has tailor-made for you. Hallelujah. There is a grace and a place. And I hear the Lord saying, there is a fresh grace that's coming over you. Three times I pleaded with the Lord, God, take this thorn away from me. Three times. But the Lord said, my grace is sufficient for you. And it will make my strength perfect in your life. In every time of weakness. My grace is made perfect for you. Grace, grace, grace. Someone say grace. And I declare a fresh wave of his grace. It's coming over your life. To those that are tired, weary. You wanted to throw in the towel. You wanted to give up. You're burnt out. There is a grace, grace, grace coming over your life over your face into your space come on lift up your hands and pray in the holy ghost i see angels coming to you refreshing you wiping away the dust washing away the old hallelujah java barosata thank you lord jesus come on pray in the holy ghost right now friends Come on, if you connect with this word, say amen. If you connect with this word in the spirit, say hallelujah. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. 2023 is the year where you will walk in it. Is the year where you will walk in what the Lord has called you to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Encounter your people, Lord. The fire of God. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Jesus. Ruska Tarabrata. Tsh. 
You see what happens when you prematurely try to walk in your blessings. It's like you're walking in clown shoes. Your shoes are too big for you. But when you wait for the appointed time, then it is the perfect Cinderella fit. It is the perfect shoe fit. Hallelujah. It is the perfect fit. It's tailor-made. It's not clown shoes. Come on, you are not in a circus. You are not in a zoo. But it's the perfect, elegant fit for you and the banquet and the gala of the wedding feast of the Lamb. Someone say, holy. Shoo! Holy! Holy! Shakaranananosa. I declare new garments, new clothes, new everything. Jesus, come on, keep praying to the Holy Ghost. My goodness. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. You've been waiting, you've been waiting. When is this going to happen? When is my miracle going to come? When is the word of the Lord going to come to pass? You've been waiting. Hallelujah. But the Spirit of God is going to cause you to step into it. It's unstoppable. It's undeniable. It's yours. It's yours. Hallelujah. Rabba bo sata rabba ba o sata. Rabba ba ba o sata la blande de rosa. Someone shout hallelujah. Come on, help us to break the 400 mark today. Amen. Amen. You're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. Suddenly. Suddenly. Jesus. Listen, I want to pray for some people here. I want to pray for some people here today. Hallelujah. If you want me to pray for you, I want you to come and pray for me and share this on your wall and give us some hearts and likes. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. I want to pray for some people here today. Glory to God. I, I've been feeling very generous with the prophetic. Usually on these Facebook lives, I don't prophesy to individuals, but I've been feeling generous the last week. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's 555 here on the West Coast. <sighs> Do want to remind you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. I'm releasing a prophetic word of the, for the month of December. So join us tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Jesus. I see the request coming in. Pray for me. Those who wait upon the Lord, they, their strength shall be renewed. There's a renewing of your strength. There's a renewing Jesus. 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 Come on, if you receive this word today, say amen. I want to pray for some folks. Jesus. 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 Angeline George. Angeline George. Angeline George. 
I see the Lord holding up your arms. And the Lord is saying, don't give up. For I'm sending help to you. Huh. And the Lord says, I'm sending help to you. And Angeline George, I see the Lord holding up your arms. And the Lord is saying, I'm holding you up. Even when you want to fall down. I'm holding you up even when you were going down. So Angeline George, any blessing that's been held back by the enemy is being released to you now. Now. It's being released to you now in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Juan Martinez, for being a subscriber. God bless you. Juan, will I see you this weekend in Dallas? By the way, I will be in Dallas ministering Thursday and Friday night. So come and see me. And next week, we will be in Hawaii. So come and see me. For I'll be ministering in Hawaii. Aloha. Glory. Lucy Jetta. I see a covering over you and your family. Covering. Lucy Jetta and the Lord says, I am your banner. I am your covering. I am your shelter, your hiding place. So get ready for supernatural provision. Supernatural favor. Hallelujah. 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 Christine Schaubel, God bless you. Christine Schaubel, I see you before a big table, like a big executive table. And the Lord says, get ready for the tables to turn. And get ready for decisions to be made. You are a powerful woman. So there's going to be some powerful decisions made, even in the next month. And the tables are turning, Christine Schaubel. And Christine Schaubel, the Lord says, decisions, decisions, decisions. For I will release a decision-making anointing over your life, says God. I will make the difficult things easy. Hallelujah. There it is. Tyler McDonald. I just love that name. Haha. -ha. From Durban, KwaZulu Natal. Tyler McDonald. I see the prophetic stirring in you. And I see the spirit of prophecy bubbling. And the Lord says, get ready for the night hours where I will visit you, where I will cover you with gold and with glory. For even before you were born and formed in your mother's womb, I knew you and I called you to be a prophet to the nations. Amen. So get ready for the prophetic Nabi, the river and the unction to bubble up out of you. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Rababa Osata. Good to see you, Kathleen. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Juan Martinez, I'll message you. I believe I already messaged you. Thank you, Lord. Ronnie Hale. Ronnie Hale. I see strength coming to you 
encouragement coming to you. <laughs> you're not lost and you're not alone. There's strength and joy coming to you. There may be pain in the night, but joy comes in the morning. So joy is coming to you, Ronnie Hale. And a new day, a new dawn, and a new morning is coming to you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Relina Rascon, for being a subscriber. I appreciate you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands, friends. There may be pain in the night, but joy comes in the morning. I want to pray for you. Lord, I thank you. Suddenly, at the blink of an eye, you're going to go from waiting on it to walking in it. If you receive today, say amen. If you receive today, say hallelujah. Rababosa tabaskarata. Remember, friends, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be on live 10 a.m. Pacific Standard. That is the right time for South Africa. Amen. But I'm going to be on live 10 a.m. And I'm going to release the prophetic word for the month of December. Let's end this year with a big bang. Amen. And friends, I do want to invite you. Give this page a like, a follow, even subscribe. If you enjoy the grace on this ministry, the anointing that is on this ministry, then go ahead and subscribe and be a partner. And we appreciate all the love and support and all the follows, even all of you that are sharing this broadcast. Thank you. And as well, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Help us take the prophetic word of the Lord to the nations. Amen. So thank you, friends, for jumping on today. And I declare you will go from waiting on it to walking in it. God bless you. Let's give the Lord a mighty clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will see you tomorrow morning, friends, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. God bless you and ciao.